All right, folks, welcome back. This is Bellatro every day until we lose. Next up on the chopping block, we've got the green deck. This is the first weird one that we've encountered in this series. And even out of all of the decks that we could possibly unlock, I consider it one of the weirder ones. And the reason for that is unlike any other deck, this deck has no interest. And instead you get money for discards and then also hands. And so as we're still, you know, trying to learn the basics of the game, trying to improve our success rate, the things that we do here with the green deck maybe are not directly translatable to other decks. So something to keep in mind uh, as you're practicing and just wanting to get better at the game, uh, I recommended the yellow deck for beginners because uh, you get the starting money and that allows you to be a little bit more flexible, experimenting with different builds. Uh, or, you know, you just pick a deck that you like um, and then play it. But, okay, here we've got the green deck. So, instead of getting $1 per hand, you get $2 per hand remaining. And I'll, you also get money for your discards. And so, I actually think of this kind of the opposite way. The way this works is, if you use a discard, you're losing a dollar. And so, what this is saying is, uh, you get punished for using discards. You get punished for using hands. Instead of losing a dollar per hand, you lose two dollars per hand. We don't get the interest, and so, you know, for this game, a very important component of the game is getting your income stabilized so that you can have the purchasing power for whatever power you need to then, you know, score enough and then win the game in the end. And so, uh, with the interest mechanic it's fairly easy to get up to that $25 cap and then now you just have a passive $5 interest guaranteed every round no matter how many hands that you play and so here without that we don't have that security we don't have that safety net. it depends entirely on our ability to use as few discards as few hands as possible and so it's going to be uh, at least in my opinion potentially a little bit harder but let's give it a try and see what we'll learn all right uh, again I suggested uh, for new players we'll not take any skips and then maybe in the future we'll talk about uh, some skips that are worth it some of the time um, I think uh, especially at the higher stakes you get to the uh, even at the red stake just the level two stake uh, you don't get any reward money for small blinds and so then it's more worth it to skip you know you're not getting any reward reward money anyway so then maybe you get some value from the skip tag all right going in here i'm looking at i've got two types of flushes developing here or maybe i just need a queen for a straight here so I've got one queen that I need, so that's four possibilities on the queen. Or I can go for the flush here with the diamonds. Uh, I'm gonna go for the flush, I think with the discards, it'll be a little bit easier for us to find the two out of eight diamonds, uh, actually well, two out of 10 diamonds. All right, we did end up getting the queen. That's okay, we can keep digging for diamonds. Uh, I will point out here, in order to win with the diamonds flush, we do need our chips to add up to 40 with our cards. And so this two is not going to be good enough. So I'm gonna throw away the two, even though I'm looking for the diamonds flush. And then there we have it. Uh, turns out the two would have worked, but that's only because we drew uh, the face cards. So we got kind of lucky there. All right, going into the next round. Uh, this is huge for us. On the green deck, this is, you know, all of your discards that are $1 now become hands that are $2. Um, so, you know, for the sake of tutorial purposes, uh, I'm not gonna take the burglar. Uh, I will tell you, you know, if you're doing this one, 
uh, the optimal pick here is definitely take the burglar. This is huge because your hands are worth more money than your discards. Uh, but, and I think this is true in general. Uh, you know, in general, if we weren't even playing on the green deck, the burglar giving you extra hands, those extra hands could possibly translate into extra money. And so personally, I think of this burglar as all the time, this is actually um, an income generating joker because those extra hands are just translating directly into extra money each round. All right, if we're not taking the burglar, then we need some other way to score. And we said, you know, in the next round, the big blind being 450 points, uh, the way that you usually accomplish that or a way that you can consistently accomplish that is just with two hands. And so that's when we're doing the yellow deck run. We said, okay, in the first shop, let's say I don't get any scoring jokers. That's completely fine. I can just skip the first shop and just win in two hands. Uh, with the green deck, we're punished for playing extra hands more than we would be before. We're punished for discarding more than we would be before. And so we really have a lot of extra pressure to win in one hand, win in few discards. And so maybe here's a situation where it could be worth it to reroll, whereas with another deck, it wouldn't be worth it to reroll. Also, since we're not getting interest, there's no reason we need to be holding on to our money. And so what I'm going to suggest here is let's reroll looking for some kind of scoring joker. Uh, Swashbuckler is okay later on, uh, though just as our first Joker is not going to help us. And we'll assume, you know, we'll pretend that we don't see the Burglar, even though the Burglar is uh, very powerful on the green deck. All right, so, you know, assuming, you know, we didn't have the ideal circumstances, assuming that we didn't get that Joker in the first shop offering, we can reroll and pick up a Droll Joker or if we didn't have the Droll Joker, we could take a, a planet card instead. Uh, with the Droll Joker, this will be enough. Any flush will win this round and also win the boss round. Uh, the boss round, discarding cards here. So we can easily just win this in one hand. So, you know, do I want to spend my money here? I'm not getting interest, so there's no reason to save my money. Well, I am interested in this overstock voucher. And so maybe I want to save my money for that. Um, and then also, you know, even though we're not getting interest, we can still save money for the next shop. And so I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna save my money now that I know I have enough to score here. All right, I've got uh, the clubs here. I know with the help of the Droll Joker, any uh, flush will work. So uh, a regular flush is worth, you know, between 280 and 320 points. And so with plus 10 molt, that's more than three times. So more than 900. Let's look for our clubs. Uh, if you didn't know already, someone suggested you can sort by suit. If that's you're looking for clubs, uh, that's very useful. Uh, I n don't typically do that because uh, it's just easier for me this way, personally. All right, there's that 900 points that I was telling you about. All right, we have the opportunity okay jupiter is going to level up our flushes a little bit if we need a little bit more scoring and so where we were scoring 900 points there this might bring us up to like 1100 points uh, we can combine that with odd todd so here plus molt and then comboed with plus chips you want to at least in the early and mid game have kind of a mix of both you know, not necessarily, you know, trying to get the numbers equal because, you know, here you get way more chips than you get molt, but having a mix of joker types, some chips, some molt. Um, we also, like I said, I wanted the overstock voucher for the extra selection power in the shop. 
And so I'm number one going to take the overstock voucher. Um, and then maybe now we've got a, this is even harder decision here. So we've got, this will always help us level up any flush. This will reward us for specific flushes, specifically using odd ranked cards. And then world will make it easier to make flushes uh, in an emergency situation. And so I think what I want to do is I'm going to take Todd here because, you know, let's say I don't get a scoring Joker in the future. You know, I want to fill up my Joker slots, uh, not necessarily the first thing, but I do need to have sort of this rate of one scoring Joker per ante, and then that's gonna give me, an, you know, by ante three, if I have three scoring Jokers, then I know that I'm going to be safe there. And so I might as well take them while they are offered. Uh, I would say if I was playing uh, for fun, I like to play a little bit more risky. And so the riskier, you know, higher risk, but potentially high reward thing to do here uh, is take the world. All right, so I'm looking for any sort of flush here and it doesn't necessarily need to have the odd cards even without the odd cards. I already know that it's going to be uh, 900 points. So let's go ahead and look for hearts here. Uh, discarding one more time, looking for hearts. And then there we go. And like I said, uh, we don't need to dig further looking for odd cards. We're perfectly fine without the odd cards. And then so if we're looking at, you know, the reward screen here, normally you would get $3 for your hands remaining. Now we're getting an extra $3, right? We're getting six instead of three. So the way you should think about this on the green deck, I'm getting here an extra $4 that I wouldn't have gotten on the yellow deck, except that's in place of instead of $5 interest, I'm getting $4 from my hands and discards remaining. And so money is actually going to be more tight on the green deck than on other decks because like I said, you don't have that passive secure interest income. So for example, if we wanted to, you know, the Vagabond is gonna be very powerful because uh, we don't have the interest, so it's gonna be harder for us to get money and so maybe we won't want to do a build where we have low money and then you know get rewarded for uh tarot cards here though maybe a difference between you know here before we did it on the blue deck where we had the extra hand and then we were able to get lots of tarot cards from the vagabond with the green deck we said each hand costs two dollars instead of one dollar each hand costs two dollars and so is this value a tarot card worth two dollars each sometimes um, but in this case i'm not going to take the vagabond and we'll play you know maybe what would a more standard run look like you know this is very warping once you take the vagabond it's giving you a ton of tarot cards you can very quickly sculpt your deck very well and so you know when we got to the end of that blue deck run with the Vagabond, we had, uh, you know, a bunch of Kings of Diamonds and, you know, maybe eight cards left that weren't Kings of Diamonds. And so, you know, I saw in the comments like, oh, you know, how did you get all this deck manipulation or whatever? It came entirely from the Vagabond. So in a more typical run, uh, you know, with more limited amounts of deck manipulation, you know, what might it look like? Now, uh, if I'm going for the Droll Joker with the flushes, then the Smeared Joker is one of the ways to make flushes easier. And so the way I think about this is if I can make flushes easier, I'm using less discards. This is actually generating me money from having leftover discards. And so I'm going to take this Smeared Joker for that aspect 
And then later on, I am looking for this grabber. It's gonna give me plus $2 every round for having this extra hand. All right, we already know that we can do 800. Uh, let's check here. This is pairs we don't need to worry about. All right, I am looking for hearts and actually I don't need hearts. Now I could do diamonds or hearts. And so here's hearts. Uh, the optimal thing to do is of course play the uh, odd ones. But you know, here with just two odd ones instead of three odd ones, we still have plenty of points here. We know with just two odd cards, 1600 points, that is enough to beat the boss of this ante. So that's the next two rounds. So we're good on our scoring power. All right, uh, I did say I want the grabber because the grabber is giving me that extra hand, is extra money. Um, is very powerful for us this early in the run. Uh, we've got uh, here is a joker that I haven't unlocked yet. This is spectacularly bad on the green deck, right? Because the green deck, we want to be not using our hand, so we definitely don't want to go to the final hand. So I will take it for the unlock and then I'm just going to throw it away. The mad joker. Uh, number one is maybe not super compatible with the Droll Joker, what we're trying to do here with the flushes. Also, four of a kind, not super easy to do, and so that's going to require us a lot of discards to get to a four of a kind. And sometimes you have to burn hands, throw away garbage hands in order to get this four of a kind. So, Mad Joker, that's not what we want to be doing. Uh, since we have the money, we can think about what booster packs might be we be interested in spending on and so one option let's you know we can even go into the collection here so one option are going to be the celestial packs celestial packs giving you those planet cards if we go to the planet cards uh, of the different planet cards jupiter gives us two molt and 15 chips so that's less chips than earth for example uh, you know, way less, half as many chips as straights. So Jupiter actually, among all of the planets, gives uh, the lower end of the value spectrum, right? Like if we look at uh, three of a kind, even three of a kind is better than Jupiter. Uh, Uranus here is one molt instead of two molt, but you get 20 chips instead of 15 chips. So Jupiter is among the slower scaling. It's among the weaker ones. And the exchange for that is with the tarot cards, the tarot cards, you have these suit changers that make it over time, make it easier and easier for you to get your flushes. Smeared jokers making it easier and easier for us to get our flushes. And so they aren't worth as many points, but if you can make them more easily, you can win with, let's say two flushes or, uh, you know, sometimes in an emergency, you could win with three flushes. And so on the green deck, probably what I would recommend is to go for higher scoring hands. Instead of flushes, go for full houses. Instead of flushes, go for straights. Or since we, in this particular run, since we have the benefit of the smeared joker, since we're able to make flushes with less discards, that also saves us money. So we're gonna do flushes this time, though in general, I don't recommend flushes on the green deck. Which means, as far as booster packs are concerned, um, I'm not really interested in celestial packs because that planet scaling for flushes is not very strong, not very high. Uh, instead, what I'm looking for are these arcana packs, making it easier for me to get my hands, easier for me to get my flushes. Maybe we can pivot later into something like uh, flush houses, right? So I think about uh, of the different poker hands that we could be playing, you know, how do we evolve our run? How do we pivot? And so maybe with like full house, you know, you want to have extra copies of cards. Maybe we turn that into four of a kind run. Maybe we turn that into like five of a kind or flush five type run. Uh, if I'm on straights, maybe over time that evolves into straight flushes. And uh, for flushes, 
typically, you know, you're just changing all the suits or all the cards, you were changing the suit. Um, typically with flushes, what I like to do is pivot into flush houses, uh, not necessarily straight flushes. And the reason for that is if you have any, you know, if we go to the deck here, if we have any, let's look at eights and sevens here, and I have uh, the clubs, the moon tarot card. If I turn a pair of eights, so eight of diamonds and eight of hearts into clubs, and one seven, so one, two, three cards, any pair into clubs, that instantly unlocks the flush house. Then I've got two sevens of clubs, three eights of clubs. And so that's something to be thinking about is, oh, my flushes are not going to be worth enough points. What am I building towards? Long term, maybe I want to upgrade into flush houses. And then the last type of booster pack that we might be interested in uh, are the buffoon packs. Buffoon packs here, you know, it's like you re-roll and then you get some different jokers that are offered, except here the cost of the joker is included in the $4 price tag here. And so these are just generally very, very efficient cost-wise. You get a lot of value for the money that you're putting in. So rather than pass and go into the next shop with our $5, Probably it's better here to get this is very valuable, a uh, very good price here. Um, we may not get a better offering in the next shop. So let's go ahead and spend the money. And like we said, one of the weird things about the green deck is since we don't have interest, then typically you have this incentive to just spend all your money. All right, uh, Mystic Summit, typically very powerful, plus 15 molt is pretty good. Uh, when you have zero discards remaining, it's not typically very hard to do. You know, you just discard until you get your best hand, and then you get the plus 15 on your best hand. We don't want to do that here. We want to try to not discard if possible, so we'll take the Swashbuckler instead. And then the Swashbuckler can give us, you know, it's not super powerful here, but plus 7 molt is better than nothing. All right, in the big blind here, we know our uh, flush with any two odd cards will be enough points. And then now with the help of the swashbuckler, okay, we had uh, 14 molt before. So plus another seven is plus another 50%. So our 1600 points is now 2400 points. So let's look for, I have a choice between here the black cards with no odd cards let's see here we have without any odd cards we have 900 points and then with the plus seven from the swashbuckler we have 50 percent more than that this will definitely work uh if i you know didn't know that this was going to work i would discard it looking for the hearts because I have the odd card. And so we can see here with no odd cards, we don't have enough to one shot the boss. And so maybe that's something to think about. It could be worth it to use some discards to look for at least one odd card. All right, in the next round here, we've got um, Let's see here, Joker Stencil could be good for us. Um, not necessarily long-term, but at least short-term. Times two is very good. Uh, in the last one with the yellow deck, we demonstrated the power of having X Molt in your build. And so typically you're looking for um, at least one. It's not dire, it's not essential that you have X Molt but you are looking for at least one X Molt, and then if you can get two, then you're totally good to go. And so here, you know, not one of the better X Molt options. It does require us, require us to keep one of our Joker slots open. And so, you know, really this is taking up two Joker slots, uh, but for now, maybe we don't have a whole lot else going on. So I'm looking at this stencil or 
we could go greedy joker so the smear joker in addition to you know just helping you make flushes okay diamonds and hearts are the same spades and clubs are the same another thing that this allows you to do maybe uh you know underrated here is this greedy joker cares about diamonds now it also works with hearts and so you can kind of double dip there you can get the greedy joker which is very powerful plus 20 molts and then also use the lustful joker which gives you a plus four for hearts you know again using both of those very powerful jokers in the same build and so i think that is what i'm most interested in doing um, there is some consideration for if we want to do ride the bus this rewards us for our hands that we're playing and this is like uh, the square joker when we were on the blue deck i said this gives you a permanent bonus this plus one molt for every hand that you play and so if you want you can just play extra hands for the sake of leveling this up and you can get this up to you know plus four molt every round starting here in anti two we can get this to you know plus 60 or plus 80 or you know something crazy like that but you have to keep in mind every hand costs you a dollar and on green deck every hand costs us two dollars so is it worth it the plus one molt for the two dollars even if this gets up to plus 40 or plus 60 we may still end up replacing it with something else and so maybe don't commit too hard don't waste don't throw away your money uh for that scaling joker so i'm not going to do the ride the bus uh because this two dollars per hand is not what i'm interested in doing all right uh do i want these booster packs here we said with the celestial pack uh we could get the jupiter planet card the planet scaling is maybe not that great and so if I only have $11, I don't want this now. If I get to a point where I have a bunch of extra money, then I will start taking Celestial Packs. But between these, I am prioritizing Arcana Packs, looking for suit-changing tarot cards. Uh, we didn't get a suit-changer, but we are offered, you know, here a random Joker. And I think uh, among the cards that we have here, uh, the swashbuckler, this plus nine molt, probably a random joker is at least equal to this. You know, a random common joker is going to be equal to this. So we will take the judgment here. This is not immediately helpful to us. This is maybe not helpful to us at all, but we can speculate and then maybe this will be useful if we go into flush houses later. Probably we'll find something else to replace it before we consistently make flush houses all right there again we have nine dollars left over and we don't get money from interest but we do even though we don't get money for interest uh, i do want to save my money for whatever might be in the next shop to save my money for whatever booster packs might be in the next shop uh, here I've already got my diamonds. This is going to be worth a ton of points. Uh, let's see if I can ballpark it. Uh, with Droll Joker and here's three odd cards. You know, maybe that's 2,000, 4,000. If I had to guess. Okay, I was way off. 5,500. Okay, now remember the anti three, that's the big one. That's the first big one. That's, you know, three times the boss is 800 and then we get a, or the boss is 1600 here and then we go up to 2800. So we definitely were good on our scoring. We have the technology that we need. And now we have that extra money to spend. So for example, we can buy uh, a voucher here. We can buy the hieroglyph if I want. The hieroglyph is going to, when it says minus one ante, really what that's doing is it takes us back in time, lowering the score thresholds this next round. Instead of 2,800 points, it'll be just 800 points. 
but it also gives us one less hand per round. And remember, each of those hands is worth $2. And so I think on the green deck, there are situations where you do want this. If I'm struggling to get my scoring and I'm not scoring enough points, then I do want to go lower the score thresholds, at least, you know, in the short term. Um, but since this is costing us $2 per round, you know, for six more antis, that's uh, 18 more rounds, uh, that's $36 in addition to the $10 sticker price. So I'm not going to take the hieroglyph on this run or in general, I'm probably not going to take this on green deck. What am I taking instead with my $25? Uh, here I've got the green joker is another one of these scaling jokers like ride the bus. Ride the bus says you can't play face cards. Green joker says you get minus one molt when you discard. If you just never discard, then it will never go down and this will keep growing and growing just like ride the bus. Um, that could be worth it you know compared to this droll joker it's, it shouldn't take us very long for us to get above plus 10 um, and then i already said that this wily joker isn't really doing anything for us anyway and so i will take the green joker though maybe i'm not going to try too hard to level it up because you know if i'm going to be looking for my flushes my red flushes using my smeared joker to try to get my greedy joker uh, to give me the plus 20 molt i'm probably going to want to discard sometimes and you know here discarding loses me one molt but playing a hand instead of discarding costs me two dollars and so probably i'm not going to be you know leveling this up I'm not going to worry about not trying to discard. All right, since I had the extra money, since I didn't buy the voucher, um, I am now going to take a look at these Celestial Packs, uh, acknowledging that since these are in the shop, there won't be duplicates. I'm looking for my flushes. Uh, if I don't have flushes, maybe uh, with the help of the Smear Joker, we can go for uh straight flushes not anytime soon but you know eventually maybe could be useful so mega celestial pack one thing i like about the mega celestial packs um a lot of the time you're only looking for one planet card upgrade your best planet card though we demonstrated in the last run on the yellow deck we demonstrated you know by hedging by going both full houses and four of a kind that left us open to pivot from originally full houses into four of a kind was what we actually won with the final hand and so here i'm able to take both you know i could do straights and straight flushes is what i like to do uh full houses and four of a kind i think is very good uh, very safe for us if this build will go flushes and for the future maybe straight flushes gives us something to work towards something to build towards and then we'll save our money uh, for the next shop uh, this could be good for us here the coupon tag everything in the next shop is free all of the jokers all of the uh, booster packs it doesn't make the voucher free but it does um, and so we don't get any money from interest. We don't get any money from, we don't have any value generating jokers. That's kind of weird that we haven't gotten any value generating jokers this whole time, except for the Vagabond, which we're skipping because it was overpowered. Um, so this coupon tag is probably worth it here. Um, but I said, you know, you won't be punished if you just never skip. So we'll just, you know, resume just never skipping. All right, here I happened to be lucky and I drew, you know, not just the flush, but it's a red flush. And also I have a couple of odd cards here for the green joker. If I wanted to level it up, I could, you know, just start playing hands Though we did say that cost us $2 per hand to do that. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to play the flush 
and not worry about leveling up the green joker. And we know with three odd cards, that's going to be uh, 7,000 points, 6,500 points, depending on what other kinds of cards we have. All right, this is huge for us. We're not able to get interest, and so maybe the way that we make our money is with the golden joker. Or we have the opportunity for the hallucination. If we're buying booster packs, we can get extra tarot cards. And then with the tarot cards, specifically tarot cards are very valuable, valuable to us because that's going to help us sculpt our deck. Not as important if you're going for straights. But for flushes and straight flushes, the tarot cards are very important. So maybe, you know, between these two, between the Golden Joker and the Hallucination, I am in this moment more interested in Hallucination. Though, in general, probably the Golden Joker is just better value on average. Because, you know, in order to get the hallucination value, I do need to be purchasing the booster packs. And maybe I don't have the money to be purchasing the booster packs. So, let's go. Uh, instead of green joker, let's pick up this hallucination. Also, I think it's just fun. I think it's a, a cool card. I really like the art on that one. If I haven't said that a dozen times already. Uh, the boss here, 2800. I don't need... You know, if I sell the Droll Joker, I will score less points, but I don't necessarily need the Droll Joker to score my points. So if I wanted to play, uh, you know, a little bit greedy here, I could sell this and pick up the Golden Joker. I'll consider it. Let's see what's in the Buffoon Pack first, and then, you know, if we get a Joker, that'll give us information for what I might want to do with my Arcana Pack. So buffoon pack first, let's get some information. Uh, it's telling us, you know, we get a reward for making straights. It is not really what we're planning on. You know, we're planning on flushes, maybe straight flushes. Uh, we've got the smeared joker helping us make flushes and also straight flushes. We've got a new discovery here. We've got, you know, this is like the golden joker giving us $4 each round, though it could potentially get more than that so this i am actually pretty excited about uh, i'm going to take this and like i said we don't need this plus 10 molt right now so i can sell this and then i can replace it with some other different kind of scoring joker later we'll go into the arcana pack now hoping to get the hallucination value All right, from here we've got uh, strength. If I want to try to make nines, I don't have any eights to turn into nines. I have moon if I want to try to make, uh, you know, change the suits. Uh, unfortunately, it's incompatible with our greedy joker. Um, if we had the droll joker still instead, then, you know, maybe I'm not necessarily attached to this greedy joker and I can go clubs instead. I think what I want to do here and what I'm going to recommend doing here is let's take the lovers here and let's make a wild card. So let's one of these black cards, let's make it into a red card. And so I don't know, maybe a king. And then that opens up the possibility in the future we could upgrade the king into an ace. Uh, this tower I don't need. I could sell it or since we don't get interest anyway, I'm just going to hold on to this tower and that way it blocks duplication of the tower. Um, now, since I've sold the Droll Joker, now since I have the extra value from the Cloud9, I have the extra value from Hallucination, you know, I have all these value generators online, now it's more worth it to take the Hieroglyph. And so I think that is what I'm going to do. I get, you know, minus one hand per round, minus two dollars per round, but I am getting the plus four dollars per round from the Cloud9. Uh, to make up for it and so I want the extra shops for the extra 
you know, opportunity to invest in my future. So let's take the hieroglyph now. And then now this is only 1200 points. So if I wanted to, I could even, I could get rid of this odd Todd I don't need. All right, let's real quick inspection here. We've got uh, red cards and it's a flush. That would not have won before. And so if we didn't take the hieroglyph voucher, we would not have had our 4,200 points. We would have needed to play more discards. We would have needed to play an extra hand. We would have lost the extra money from those as well. And so the hieroglyph actually saved us money by reducing the score threshold. All right, we have a crafty joker, you know, comparing these odd Todd to the crafty joker. You know, most of the time we're getting two odd cards. So this is, uh, you know, most of the time going to be 60 chips every once in a while, sort of rarely we get the 90 chips. And so between these, um, I think it's close. I think it's marginal. I think the crafty joker is going to be better some of the time, a lot of the time. And also we have to consider if I'm going for flushes and maybe I want to make more nines, more odd cards, this could in the future be better than the crafty joker. And then also, you know, it just cost me money to like sell and replace. So I'm going to stick with the odd Todd. Um, business card gives me money for face cards. I already have the stable uh, income from cloud nine and the value generating from hallucination. I don't need something like this. Uh, Vagabond, we already said, we're going to pass on that. Though, this is a very powerful combination here. Vagabond with Cloud9. So you can, you know, spend all of your money, lose all your money, not get any interest, and then have Cloud9 give you the money at the end of the round, replacing the interest that you would have. All right, since I have $25 here, I am going to check out this buffoon pack. Like I said, a uh, very high expected value on the buffoon packs. You know, sometimes you get uncommon jokers like here, the Midas mask. Uh, we have the opportunity to get the bus again. Half joker is not compatible with flushes. Ice cream here is going to be on average equal or worse than odd Todd. And you know, it decreases over time. So I actually don't need any of this. I am interested in the standard pack may be looking for a nine. A red nine would be great. All right, I don't have a red nine, but I do have odd and red five, and it's steel, and it's a purple seal. There's not a whole lot that I would be willing to go for out of one of these standard packs. And that is one that I definitely am into. Uh, the purple seal giving us more tarot cards for uh, manipulating our deck. Uh, and I don't need to reroll. I have all of the not just scoring jokers, but also value generating jokers. Uh, something to keep in mind for the future. The smeared joker makes it easier for you to make your hands, but it doesn't give you any extra scoring. And so for the short term, when we don't need that many points, it's better for us to have the smear joker so that we can, you know, save hands and save discards on the green deck specifically. But in the future, I am looking to replace this smeared joker with uh, potentially something that actually gives me score. All right, the needle says one hand. So for example, this hand will totally work. Uh, before we do that, Let's think about, uh, do I want to be using these tarot cards? How about the odd seven will make into a wild card? And I want to be discarding this purple card. Uh, it's going to cost me a dollar for that discard, but I'm going to get a tarot card. So that seems like it's worth it to me. Let's give that a try. Uh, we do get the Molt cards, and so we already have the Odd cards giving us plus 30. How about the Ace and the 3 I'm going to make into Molt cards? 
And so here's one of those where, you know, I don't necessarily need the scoring in a typical build. I could just sell this for the money. Um, you know, whatever, I get all kinds of extra tarot cards from the purple seal and from the hallucination. However, if you are going for flushes in particular, because the planet scaling is so weak, because the jokers, like the droll joker only gives you plus 10, uh, you need or typically want to have the extra scoring from the tarot cards, from the enhancements. So I am going to do that. And the Hierophant, um, I don't need to use, so I'm just gonna save it, and then again, it's gonna block duplicates. So here's, uh, we've got, those are my odd cards. Here are my extra cards, and I have the Molt cards. So we'll get to see, with the Jokers that I have, this is kind of the best that I can do right now. And so we learned that that's about 6,000 points. Um, and so, you know, maybe without the Molt cards, it's like 5,000 points. I know the next round being 2,800, I can one-shot it with sort of any uh, flush as long as it's got diamonds. Which means I don't need to buy any Jokers here. I don't need to, but I should at least uh, take a look. Turtle Bean makes it... You know, you get plus hand size. Obviously, it makes it easier for us to find the cards that we're looking for. On the green deck, discards cost us money. Playing extra hands costs us money. And so this turtle bean, if it makes it easier for us to find our good hand, that is saving us money. If we're not doing discards, we're saving money by using this turtle bean. So that's something to consider. You know, is this plus five hand size, is that comparable to or perhaps better than the smeared Joker's ability to help us find our flushes? Um, I think smear Joker is going to be better. And then also the turtle bean is going to, you know, decrease over time. And so we'll stick with the smear Joker. Full copying Empress if I want. Uh, maybe I'll do that. Though first, I will take a look at these booster packs um, so that I can, might get a tarot card from Hallucination. Uh, the magic trick, I'm not interested in playing cards from the shop, except maybe more nines. But I think, you know, I don't have as much extra money on the green deck as I do when I was getting interest on the yellow deck. Maybe I don't have as much extra money for shop rerolls. Let's not introduce playing cards to the shop that are just going to clog up the shop queue. So instead we'll go uh, standard pack. Uh, I like to do the smaller ones first and then the bigger ones second. The bigger one you have more decisions to make. So I wanna have more information before I make those decisions. All right, uh, for example here, do I want some of these diamonds? Do I want some of these red cards? Do I want this red seal card, which is gonna trigger the greedy joker more times? I think not. I think I want to, you know, I wanna to try to get nines. I wanna to try to get uh, diamonds instead of just generic red cards. I wanna get diamonds specifically so that I can sell the smeared joker later when I no longer need it. And so I'm going to skip here. I'm gonna skip the red seal. All right, uh, before I open the mega standard pack, I am going to sell the Hierophant just to make room here. In the mega standard pack, okay, now I have again that red seal opportunity. We have a couple different variants here. Uh, I do have a gold seal card that's gonna give me money Maybe now this is something I might be interested in, right? If we're having money troubles, this could be a, you know, this gold seal card, it doesn't take up a joker slot. And so I can sell my money generating jokers and convert into these gold seal cards in my deck as a way of earning money. Um, or the same thing with this lucky card earning money. I think what I wanna do here I will take the gold seal for the 
money. Now, do I want this red seal that also happens to be lucky? I think I will do that. Mm, yeah, it's diamonds. Okay. And now with the fool here, I could get the empress. I'm going to buy it, but not use it. And maybe I'm looking for use strength and then fool to strength again. And then maybe I can turn uh, eights into nines or sevens into nines maybe. Um, or my uh, queen, I can turn into an ace. All right, I think we're good here. We will save our money for the booster packs in the next shop. All right, we've got handy tag for $9 or we'll just play the round. All right, uh, strength. Is there anything here that I might want to strength? Uh, I don't have my nines or eights that I want to turn into nines, kings that I want to turn into aces. Uh, do I want to discard? So I lose money, but I may be able to discard and find my eights and upgrade them that way. I think let's just do the two and four into now a three and five. That's another way, by the way, to uh, enable your flush house is now, you know, with strength card, you know, collapsing onto these odd cards. I've got three threes here. And then now in my deck, I've got three, four actually red fives. Maybe that's going to be our path to a flush house. Smear Joker is not worth it if we're just going for flushes because flushes are easy enough to make. Uh, you know with a few suit changes. However with a flush house flush house is worth so much more points that Just being able to make the hand is worth it And so smeared Joker helping us make flush houses um, Instead of just flushes that could be worth a Joker slot that could be worth, you know, some amount of points uh, Fool for this strength card uh, I'll hold on to the fool, you know, maybe we can still make something else and we'll go ahead and play here's what it looks like with five odd cards all right we know five odd cards gives us seven thousand uh we've got plenty of points all right we've got uh the red card as another you know scaling joker when we buy booster packs, we have the backup plan or we could get molt. I think uh, I'm good with my plus molt options here. I'm good with the greedy joker. Let me check the boss. I always keep forgetting. Actually, the boss here, 11,000. That's troubling. That's scary. Okay. How are we going to deal with that? Let's try this celestial pack. Looking to upgrade our flushes. Uh, I didn't get the upgrade on the flushes, so maybe what is the next best thing? The only thing connecting me to flushes right now, or I guess it's Greedy Joker and it's Smeared Joker, so I'm pretty committed to flushes. So, you know, these are all equally not interesting to me. Um, Fool is currently copying Strength, so I'm going to skip here. You know, it's good to hedge, it's good to stay open to different possibilities. Though, you know, I don't want my fool to be copying any of those lesser used plants. I think we'll be fine without it. Uh, let's take a look at the standard pack, looking for red nines. All right, we have an odd red card here. We have a red seal card here on the two of diamonds. Uh, I already have one red seal card, and so if I want more in the future, I can use death tarot cards to make copies of it. Uh, I don't need an extra one, so I'm going to skip here. I don't want to bloat my deck with too much extra stuff. Uh, hermit here for the money. Now I am going to use the fool to copy the hermit. On the green deck, we are you know needing that extra money. 
we'll take uh, a justice here you know if we're scoring you know 7,000 points or 8,000 points or however much it was this doubling it will allow us to beat the boss uh, what else now I've got extra money here for re-rolling so we might as well let's take a look Droll Joker for flushes, Crafty Joker for flushes, Half Joker for flushes. Uh, I think we're fine without any of that. Uh, we could re-roll more, though I said before we want to spread out our re-rolls. Don't re-roll unless you really need to. So we'll just go next. Uh, among the tags that you might be interested in, we might be interested in a, a negative tag. Negative Joker gives us, you know, it... If it's negative, it doesn't take up a joker slot, so it's sort of free for us in our build to just add a random joker. The question is, is a random joker going to be worth the skip? If we take the skip, the one thing we're missing out on is, you know, the cloud nine money, the reward money, the hallucination value. Uh, we're missing out on the shop opportunity, um, but also, if we skip this round, then all future rounds come run one round earlier. You could think of this as all scoring thresholds are increased by 50%, right? So, you know, round uh, 10 becomes this one, round 11 becomes the next one, 10, 50% higher than it would have been otherwise. Is a random joker, any random joker, even if it doesn't take up a, uh, a joker slot, is that worth 50% increase to all of the scores forever. I think there are situations where it is. Uh, for us, with this build where we're at right now, I think the answer is no. Even though, you know, this, you know, doesn't take up a joker slot, I think it's not going to give us as much, you know, just for a random joker, I don't think it's going to give us enough points, extra points in order to make up for the increase in the score thresholds. At least for this build for, you know, where we are at right now. Um, I do have here some black cards that I need to get rid of for red cards. All right, here we've got some red cards, maybe like that. Ah, without, yeah, we played the red cards without the extra molt on them and we didn't have the droll joker. So we should have remembered that that was only going to be about 3000 points. Uh, you know, we didn't have as many odd cards for the odd Todd. That's okay. We can just play another one, even though it costs us some money. So there sort of remembering that you know we're not going to score as much points without as many odd cards we should have used the justice card um, in order to get over this 4000 here though what i plan on doing is saving this justice card for the boss you know because this 4000 we could definitely do very easily by just playing a second flush you know we can discard here and then just play another set of uh you know, these are red cards here. You know, we even might get some money from this uh, Queen of Diamonds here. Um, for the boss, for the 11,000 points, now I might actually need some help. And so I'm going to use the Justice card on the boss. Would really like to turn this Queen into an Ace. Mm -hmm. All right, here we've got, uh, before we look at the jokers here, uh, I'm going to open the booster packs. So we'll go celestial pack for that Jupiter. We've got a priestess for potentially uh, more planet cards here. Um, I said I wanted to save the justice for the boss. You know, I could be concerned about that. However, uh, I'm looking here uh, in the shop, we have this rare joker, this x Molt joker. Uh, it's actually very, this is among the more powerful ones, the campfire. And so 
being able to pick this up, then I don't need this justice. So I can go ahead and safely sell it. So maybe what I'll do is I'll sell the justice, use the priestess, and then I've got these planet cards. Um, I'm not necessarily super interested in doing either of these, but I will just take the earth as a backup. And then I've cleared space for my Arcana pack here. All right, the Arcana pack we've got, uh, I'm trying to get rid of red cards. I'm trying to make or get rid of black cards and make more red cards. I'm trying to make more nines. So maybe the thing that I want to be doing is here, eight of clubs and ace of spades. Use the hangman to get rid of those rather than you know making a gold card for more money or a lucky card potentially for more money hierophant for more scoring um, i think you know just sculpting better if we have less cards on the deck it makes it easier for us to draw our hand that we're looking for and if it's easier for us to draw our hand then we will be saving money on discards so let's go ahead and use the hangman all right now here, you know, let's talk about this campfire. Uh, this, you know, if we're getting one extra tarot card every shop with the hallucination, and you just sort of sell the tarot card that you get, this without even trying, you can get this up to, you know, times two, times 2.5, times three. Um, and that's, you know, that this is also unconditional. This applies to every hand that you play or if you're in an emergency situation, if you're really desperate for scoring, what you can do is you can just buy stuff purely for the sake of selling it, just to get that value up. And so if this is something that I'm interested in doing, maybe now I want to you know, get rid of one of my value generating jokers and convert into this scoring joker. And so maybe now it's time to, you know, between Hallucination, which can give me extra tarot cards for the deck shaping. If I was more secure with my deck, I would get rid of the smeared joker. Um, if I were not playing on green deck, if I were playing on a different deck where we don't lose money for using discards, then I would sell the smeared joker because I can just discard looking for diamonds. Um, I think the you know between these two i think you know we lose money from using discards but we gain money from keeping the cloud nine so i am going to get rid of the smeared joker and now we really do want to play diamonds specifically um and we've made room for the campfire um, if I had purchased the campfire before selling the justice card, you know, if I had already decided that that was the thing that I wanted to do, then this campfire would, you know, get value from selling that uh, justice card. Uh, I'm going to sell the Saturn to do this. And now for the boss, like I said, the 11,000 points, I don't have the security of having the glass card. Um, I think I do want to re-roll. Um, and then look for ways to level up the campfire more. Uh, before I do that, I should consider, you know, these are both holographic here. And so if the greedy joker is giving me plus 20 molt here, I could replace it with something else like this. Uh, Jolly joker would be plus 20 molt. Uh, this clown would be plus molt. I think I'm not going to want to do that. In my diamonds specifically, I don't necessarily have a whole lot of odd cards. So maybe let's do this. Let's get rid of Todd. And we'll pick up the clown because that's a free reroll. If we don't see anything that we want, this plus the campfire, that'll be perfectly enough points. Uh, if we do see something we're interested in, we can uh do an exchange here so here's something uh that maybe is not super obvious let's i'm going to if i wanted to level up the campfire i could do something like this i could take the world just for the sake of selling it 
um, the magician I could sell it for the sake of leveling up the campfire I'm going to take it for the lucky card for the money that it could give me and for the boss now I can use the luchador and the campfire at times three I don't need to reroll so let's go next so here's something that's kind of interesting uh, you know normally you think about uh, with the luchador disabling boss blind effects uh, like if you got debuff all diamonds or debuff all face cards this would remove that effect for the wall where the effect is that it's extra big if you use the luchador now it's not extra big it's just regular big uh this 5600 here and so now with the times 3.5 on the campfire uh even though i only have the greedy joker i know for sure i'm going to score enough points assuming that i can draw diamonds and we said diamonds are going to cost us money to dig so let's go ahead and do that let's dig uh, maybe I'll even throw away the purple one to get the tarot card. Uh, good combination here, by the way. Uh, purple seal combo with campfire. All right, let's go looking for more diamonds if I discard these. There, that's technically, that's diamonds. Um, I don't care odds or evens. Let's, how about my aces or let's go the eight of diamonds i'm going to make lucky because maybe this eight could turn into a nine uh for the hierophant let's put it on maybe here's an ace and a king uh i don't necessarily need to do this i could save this to sell to the campfire so maybe we'll do that let's go eight aces and kings and there we go that's our diamonds flush and you can see here uh you know we with just the greedy joker it would have been only two or three thousand uh or maybe like you know 3200 or something like that uh we definitely wouldn't have been able to beat the 11,000. that would have been really tough uh but with the times three or times three and a half from the campfire we're easily able to overcome the 5,600 or, you know, even the wall, the 11,000 would have barely gotten there or barely not gotten there. So campfire, very powerful, you know, very easy to just level it up sort of without even trying, especially if I've got the hallucination. Let's go celestial pack. We get lovers that we could sell. We get hierophant that we can sell to level up the campfire. Jupiter here for my flushes, uh, Arcana pack, looking for, we didn't get the hallucination, but that's okay. Jupiter here, or, you know, potentially some other scoring options. I'm gonna go for the Jupiter. It's more consistent rather than buffing up specific cards. It's gonna buff up all of our flushes. And then now, you know, since this campfire is very powerful, this very rare X mold here, I'm actually gonna sell it. Uh, I wanna sort of explore, figure out what happens if we didn't have it, what happens if we didn't have this overpowered rare joker, could we still figure out how to survive, even under these sort of not ideal circumstances? Uh, the hanging chad, that's gonna be a new discovery for us. This gives us a re-trigger on the first card that we play. So, you know, right now this is giving us just maybe plus four molt from the Greedy Joker, but we could have, uh, you know, maybe our gold seal card gets twice as much money. Our lucky card has two times the chances. It's not great. It's not super powerful, the Hanging Shad, but it's not useless either. So we'll take it and, you know, we're looking to replace it. Um, I do want the overstock voucher here. It gives us more shop selection, makes each reroll worth more money. Uh, before I do that, if I buy stuff in the shop, then that will, you know, open up the slots so that when I get the overstock, it refills all of these. All right, let's 
think about, okay, if we had the smeared joker, like I said, you could do both of these. You could do diamonds and hearts. Both of them count as both. And you can kind of double dip on your suits jokers. The suits joker is giving you 20 molt for one joker is like kind of powerful. Um, here, let's see here. Do I want to go hearts or diamonds? I think I want to go diamonds for the lucky cards rather than hearts. If I get the 10, I can just play it as a solo 10. I don't have to play it as a flush. So yeah, let's do that. Let's get rid of the lusty joker or I don't even necessarily have to decide now. I can look at what else is here, you know, clubs if I want it. I don't think that's what I want to do. Um, these are not compatible with each other, except for maybe if you have wild cards. So you think like, oh, if I want to make flushes, just getting the suit changer, converting three cards, that's the most direct way to do that. And then one wild card is not super exciting, just converting one card at a time. But each of these wild cards counts as all suits. And so it could be I get both value here from the greedy joker and the lusty joker. That's a possibility to think about. But in general, these are not going to be compatible with each other. So we said one or the other. I'm going to sell the lusty joker. And then maybe what we can do is we could do even Steven. Now these are compatible with each other. Um, I can get a few even cards, sneak those into my flushes. Um, or we could also be thinking about, uh, this is Sock and Buskin, is gonna be re-trigger not just the first card, but re-trigger all face cards, re-trigger all of these uh, greedy Joker effects. It doesn't work with Even Steven, because Even Steven, those are not face cards. So I think what I wanna do is trade in the Chad for this new Discovery Sock and Buskin here. Now with our extra money, do we want to re-roll? I think what I want to do um, is save the money for booster packs for my hallucination. So we will go next. Uh, we can level up pairs again. We don't need that. I am looking for diamonds, not necessarily even cards, but diamonds. So let's discard these. Uh, I've got some diamonds here, still looking for more diamonds. Maybe I want to play this 10 for the uh, gold seal effect. Yeah, let's do this. So let's throw the, we're looking for diamonds using a discard. Then this glass card, now it's a wild card. And now since it's a wild card, it's also diamonds. It's also even, cool. So let's go diamonds, diamonds, diamonds. We get the retrigger on all of our face cards. So maybe these. So here this diamonds is, you know, plus eight molt from Greedy Joker compared to this two is plus four from Greedy Joker and plus four from Steven. So it's kind of the same either way. Um, so we'll go ahead and run it out this way. Again. And now we know that kind of hand, you know, maybe is worth 10,000 or more. Uh, loot Matador, not Luchador, Matador. Gives us money for the boss blind ability. Let's check out the boss blind ability. Minus one hand size, okay, that's not compatible. Uh, again, flushes here, we lost the uh, chips from our uh, odd Todd it was and so maybe we want to replace the chips here I think we're scoring perfectly fine so maybe I don't need that uh, I don't need the random molt from the misprint so all of these jokers I'm not interested in let's go standard pack maybe looking for more nines uh, an eight which I could turn into a nine and it also happens to be a gold seal for more money. How are we doing on money? We're doing pretty good on money. I wouldn't hate having more diamonds and we can strengthen it into a nine. So let's pick that up. 
All right, uh, with the Arcana pack here, uh, I want to make room by getting rid of the Earth card. Do I want to sell it or use it? The $1 is not going to make a huge difference, so I'm going to use it. In the Jumbo pack, all right, a ton of great options here. We can remove some black cards from our deck. We can get $20. We can make hearts instead of diamonds. We can use the Fool, not necessarily to copy this 8, but to copy this Temperance for 12 bucks if we wanted to. Uh, we could make a Steel card. Uh, this red uh, card here, we can make into a Steel card, and it would trigger extra times. I think that's something that I'm interested in, even more interested in than having it be a lucky card. Even though this lucky card re-triggered by Sock and Buskin, I'd rather the red seal card be steel, red steel, and I can make another steel card if I want. So the question is, okay, steel card or $20 or card removal, card selection. I think we're good on money. So I'm gonna go for the deck manipulation here. Queen and Jack, I don't need anymore. Maybe I'll get rid of the small ones. Three and Queen, get rid of those. Cool. Do I want to reroll here? I have enough money that I might be rerolling in the future. So let's spread out our rerolls. Even though I don't need to reroll here, we'll, we'll do one. There we've got another X Molt option. It's not as powerful as the campfire, but we are looking for some X Molt option. And so between these, with Sock and Buskin uh, copying our, you know, for playing the face cards of diamonds, this is maybe giving us between eight and 12 Molt. Um, I think we can replace it safely with uh, this constellation. And then things that give us straights we don't want, Riff Raff giving us common jokers, we're already full on jokers. So we'll go into the next round. All right, we've got 9,000 that we need. And so we've already got this uh, flush here. I am going to discard for that tarot card, just to see. Temperance, 12 bucks, no problem, we'll take it. Uh, we've got the odd card here, odd card here and then maybe we'll play a queen. Uh, wait, not odd cards anymore, we want the even ones. So how about 10, 6, 2, those are all even, plus an extra ace. I'm not sure if this is 9,000. Yeah, shouldn't be. There we go. That's okay. We have uh, not a lot of wild cards, but we've got a few wild cards. So we can make a second flush here with the diamonds. It costs us one extra discard and then, you know, maybe one extra hand or maybe it's going to cost us two extra discards here. Let's find out. Uh, discard these cards and the red card. Still didn't get there on diamonds. So now we have to play. This is costing us money. Two bucks. And then there we go, we've got the diamonds, that's going to do it. Um, and so this is what I was saying with kind of the green deck, uh, why maybe it's not super accessible to newer players is that extra hand, that extra two hands, that costs us a lot of money. And we don't get any interest from having this money on hand. And so uh, can be extra punishing to new players if they get into a situation of uh, we don't have the right scoring jokers. But we are uh, in this particular run, I acknowledge we're playing a little bit greedy on purpose. Instead of having the smeared joker to guarantee that we get our uh, flushes, we're using the cloud nine giving us money instead. So we play extra hands costing us money. In exchange, we get money from the cloud nine. And this time it just happened to not work out. Though once we level up this constellation, once we're scoring more, then we'll be fine. We're in anti four. I said kind of on average, you want to have uh, one scoring joker per anti. And so by now I'm looking for 
my fourth scoring joker. Here I have two scoring jokers. Uh, you know, maybe one and a half scoring jokers. Constellation is not currently scoring for us. So we're way behind the curve. We need to get caught up on our scoring now. And so maybe one thing that I'm looking at, uh, Fortune Teller plus 18 Molt is perfectly serviceable. That's better than this uh, raised fist here. So maybe now is the time to give up on our Cloud Nine dreams. You know, I know we've got, you know, out of eight antis here, we've got a lot of time left. We could be greeting and grinding out more money, but this constellation is taking up a joker slot and this will be our end game scoring. And so we need to keep the constellation. So I need to sell my value generator. I need to sell my cloud nine. Unfortunate. Uh, before I bought this fortune teller, you should probably open the buffoon pack first because these jokers will always be there. Opening the buffoon pack gives you more information before we commit to the fortune teller. So let's open the buffoon pack. That was a misplay. We have the option to get some chips from the banner. How are we doing on chips? We've got 95 here. Uh, maybe we want this. Maybe we're using our discards to play diamonds. So maybe we don't want that. Uh, we don't have room for value generators anymore. You know, I could replace the hallucination. Uh, we could get the lusty joker. We don't have room for that though. This will allow us to either go for diamonds or hearts. And so if I have more options available to me, then I can use less discards potentially. But we're gonna skip here. The standard pack, I'm looking for more diamonds. These are not diamonds, except okay, we've got the two diamonds and it's even. Okay, so that's useful. Maybe that's something that I'm interested in. Or we can go for the purple seal card for the tarot cards. Um, I think I'm just going to play it safe here. And I think the safe thing to do is to pick up this even card here, or maybe even not take any of these. Um, I would like to make it easier to make my flushes, so I will take this. All right, uh, of these tarot cards here, do I want to be using any of these? Maybe. Do I want to be buying any of these chips? Jokers, here's plus 50 chips and keeps getting bigger with the hiker. Maybe. Is this going to be more value than possibly we get from the hallucination? I think the answer is yes. So if that's what we want to do, sell the hallucination. Judgment first. This is plus, uh, this is plus 20 molt for a flush. That's going to be more than these here. I'm going to get rid of Steven here. So, you know, all of these giving me kind of the same thing. Plus 20 molt, plus 20 molt, plus 20 molt. Um, I don't need all of them. You know, once I have three of these, the next one is only 30% of what I'm already doing. So we'll replace. Steven with chips instead. There we go. Now I feel very good about this. We can open the High Priestess, um, getting to start to level up our Constellation. Let's start spreading out our rerolls. So we'll reroll once here. Ooh, banana. Okay. So we've demonstrated before with the banana. You know, after it goes away, it gets replaced with, you can get in the shop, the times three molt banana, the Cavendish. And also it's technically a common, which means it will show up very often. It'll show up very easily. And that will give us, you know, a lot of scoring potential very easily. And so it's worth it to invest now in the banana and then later on be rewarded with that times molt. So this, Grow Michelle is kind of like Constellation. It doesn't do very much right now, but it will evolve and give us X Molt later, is how I think about this. So forget the fact that this gives you plus 15 Molt right now, even if this gave us zero, pretend this is Constellation. Uh, in which case, uh, how do I make room for it? 
I think I'm done with the greedy joker because now I can make with the droll joker, I can make any flushes. It doesn't have to be diamond flushes. That's huge for us. All right. Um, and then if I want to upgrade the constellation, we can go Venus here. Photograph is more X molt here. Something you can do with the photograph. This gives you the X molt on the card when it's scored. So the X molt will be before fortune teller, before grow Michelle, uh, before this droll joker. So, you know, sometimes actually most of the time, that's not going to be what you're interested in doing. But when we had the greedy joker giving us the molt on each of our diamonds, what you can do is I can play my flush and just put the face card on the right. And then that way I get plus four, plus four, plus four, plus four times two, and then do it that way. If I wanted to use the photograph, but we don't have the greedy joker anymore. So the photograph is not going to work in this particular build. Since we don't have interest, we don't get punished for spending money. I'm going to reroll one more time, just one more time, trying to level up my constellation just so that, you know, our score is a little bit more secure. E I'm not trying to do straights. You know, e, this is very tempting here, the X3 for the straights. Um, am I trying to do, yeah, I guess all of these are straights. Some consideration for the trading card. Trading card gives you two types of value. One gives you money, also gives you the deck shaping ability of removing cards from the deck. Um, that could be something that I'm very interested in doing. I want the hiker for the chips. I want the droll joker and the fortune teller for the malt. I want the grow Michelle for the investment. Same with the constellation. I want that for the investment. So this is very powerful. You should often take this, but maybe it's a little bit too late for now. I'm just going to use my planet cards, upgrading my constellation and then move on to the next round. Minus one hand size, no problem. Probably no problem. So we've got the hearts here. If we're looking at the deck, we've got 12 hearts, 14 diamonds, and some number of wild cards. So I'm just gonna go ahead and look for these hearts. Maybe try again on the hearts maybe try again on the hearts we did draw a straight here but the straight is not going to do it it needs to be a flush maybe it doesn't need to be a flush the difference here is just 10 molt though our flush is much stronger than our straight uh 50 more chips uh twice as much molt so you could think of that as you know it's three times for a flush not counting all of this stuff that we have going on here uh, we did get there on the flush. Um, if I want, I could play this hand here. Cost me $2, gives me $3. So there's no reason not to. And now we learned, you know, with the help of all of these just flat plus multi bonuses, that already is worth 4,000 points in the future if we need that information. Ah, and that is definitely, that's going to be, you know, our 15,000 points, uh, 17,000 points or something like that. Only getting bigger with our constellation. All right, what do we want to spend on here? Uh, I'm looking for the flush tarot card. Here's X Molt for spades or clubs, but I already have X Molt from constellation. I'm using Grow Michelle to evolve it into the Cavendish. So let's go Priestess first. Pluto, Earth, Saturn, show me three different planet cards. Uh, how about, you know, there's no, let's just pick whichever one's the biggest. Celestial pack again, show me three different ones. We don't have Jupiter, but we can take uh, Neptune. Probably not gonna go straight flushes, but we always have that opportunity and it is worth a ton extra points and so maybe on the final boss when we don't need to be saving our money 
we can burn all of our discards, all of our extra hands, looking for the one straight flush to win it all. Uh, I will be taking the Saturn card to update, upgrade my constellation. I'm going to hold on to these because as long as I'm holding on to these, these will block the duplicates. Um, I am going to take the blank voucher for the unlock. We need to buy it 10 times. And in general, uh, if you get the upgraded blank voucher, it gives you a joker slot. So always buy the blank voucher if you can afford it. And we'll just go next. All right, uh, here we have Mega Buffoon Pack. I'm good on jokers. 11,000, I know already I can achieve that with my any kind of flush. So here we could do four of a kind, but I think a flush is going to be better. I have equal amounts of hearts and diamonds in hand, so I'm just looking here. There's more diamonds, so let's go for diamonds. Hey, good thing we made that wild. So here, uh, it's kind of messy, but we've got all diamonds here. And we've got that gold card. Uh, by the way, this hiker, if it wasn't foil, I wouldn't have taken it. This is another one of those, you know, value generating, we're investing in the future. Um, it's subtle, it's hard to kind of track all of the plus fours that it's giving you. And it's easy to think, oh, well, it's not doing anything um, because I'm not noticing the difference, you know, this incremental change. But you get kind of like plus 20 chips every round. You know, you play a five card hand or sometimes you play more than one five card hand and the bonus is permanent. So after I sell this hiker, if I replace it with something more potent, I get to keep the plus four chips here, the plus four chips here, and then so on. All right, um, I don't need any of this. I don't need this Mars card. So let's go Celestial Pack looking for Jupiter or Neptune. You know, with all of these wild cards, playing a straight flush on the final boss, you know, going all in on the straight flush, not impossible, not crazy. Um, this Mars card here, or in general, these planet cards, do I want to be spending the extra money to level up my constellation? Do I want to level up my constellation naturally from just celestial packs and Jupiter cards? Or do I want to go out of my way to spend extra money on this Mars card that I'm not using? Um, I think, you know, since we don't have any other X Molt going on and we're doing okay on our income here, we've got the two gold cards in the deck. I think we can afford this. I think we can afford the planet card. And the buffoon pack is just good value. So we'll open it. I'm not really looking to replace any of these jokers necessarily, but if it's really spicy, maybe uh, the hiker is on the chopping block, or maybe this plus 20 molt could be replaced with an X molt instead. Let's take a look. Uh, not like this. You know, 80 chips for the Crafty Joker since this is foil um, and also giving us the permanently growing chips bonuses. No problem skipping those. And then we'll go to the next round. All right, uh, 1600 or 16,000. I know my flush will one shot this. I know my flush will work here. Um, we should think about, okay, this voucher tag. What I've said about the voucher tag in the past is even though we skip the reward money, even though we skip all the money that we get from our extra hands here, you're limited to one voucher per ante. And so vouchers are something that you can't re-roll for. Uh, vouchers are something that sometimes money can't buy. Some vouchers are worth $30. You know, it says it costs $10, but it's worth $30. And so maybe it's worth it to take the voucher skip. Um, we should consider, you know, do we have enough points to beat this 22,000? Um, I think the answer is yes. Do we have the enough points to beat this 22,000 and the next one and the next one, increasing all of the future blinds by 50%? Mm, 
maybe not. Maybe I want a little bit more time to grow my constellation to replace my Gros Michelle with Cavendish. So we're not going to skip here. All right, we've got uh, a mix of actually since we've got this wild card we've drawn these diamonds and we've got more diamonds left in the deck though i do want the uh, tarot card so let's use the earth to get it out of the way let's discard this diamond and then between these i still have more diamonds left than i have hearts left so i'll discard these even though this ace is enhanced I've got more diamonds left. Lovers, cool. If I want to try to make more, let's see here. The cards that I have the most of are hearts and diamonds. The cards that I have the least of are the spades. And so if there is a card that I am trying to make wild, maybe I wanna to try to make spades wild. If I'm trying to make a straight flush in the end you know maybe between 10 and 7 i'm looking to make a 9 or an 8 into a wild card or possibly a 6 into a wild card so let's look at what we got um how about a 9 into a wild card and i don't necessarily need to use it now but since we're going to get you know more planet cards and more tarot cards uh, let's go ahead and you know get it out of the way Which allows us to play here are my diamonds and I can keep holding on to this Pluto card All right with the banana that's 24,000 that's enough to beat the boss without the banana We're going to need a little bit something else probably uh, So for example I'm going to go standard pack first, holographic is powerful, though spades are not what I'm trying to do, arcana pack, for that, you know, flush house possibility I said, you could, you could use a strength card trying to look to make a flush house, um, I think we're not gonna go for the flush house this time. I think we are since we have uh, it leveled up so much. I think we're gonna try to win with a straight flush. In which case, what technology helps me make a straight flush? Or, you know, we could just pick up the extra, probably lucky card rather than Hierophant here, rather than the extra chips, get the extra, you know, potentially money. And so, let's see here, the Money cards are going to be our diamonds, so maybe nine of diamonds for the lucky card. Or if I want to evolve a five into a six, making it easier for us to find our straight, you know, maybe ten through sixes. Uh, I'm going to go for the lucky card here. Um, a thing that you could do here is reroll first, and then that way if there's a tarot card in the shop, you can buy it and then open the Arcana pack after and then use the tarot card right away. Um, I want to, let's see here, extra discard, making it easier for to find our hands or actually the extra discard is an extra dollar. Um, I think I'd rather have the clown for the free reroll, the $5 value right now. And I'm looking for some other scoring joker. So for example, okay, these straights, jokers are not gonna do it. This joker stencil is maybe not going to do it. Though we will, we'll do the calculation, right? So, you know, right now this is plus 20 molt. There's another plus 23 molt. So between the two of these, this is like, you know, times two. You have fortune teller and then the extra 20 is another times two, not counting uh, the base molt that we have here. So replacing this with the Joker stencil and then using two slots for the Joker stencil, that's the same as, you know, times two. It's a little bit better with the Joker stencil. So maybe that's something that I want to do. Um, or since it's close, maybe I won't do that. 
maybe I want this rocket for the money though you know it's already anti-5 okay maybe that's not gonna grow fast enough I think what we need to do either we need to beat the boss with two hands that's an option or we need to reroll so let's reroll since we have the money and now we can do things like pick up this popcorn. So this is plus 50% on top of what we already have going on. You know, 20, 20, and then another 20 is plus 50%. All right, so with the banana at 15, we had enough to beat 20,000, so we should be fine here. We just have to think about, uh, do I wanna go diamonds or hearts? And since I have the hearts in hand, let's look for the hearts. Um, though it is close, right? Because we have more technically diamonds in the deck. Here, the 10 and the three, maybe something like this. Thirty thousand points there. A little bit less with the popcorn ticking down. Uh, strength, maybe I want. All right, telescope is interesting. So we've got twenty flushes played as our most played hand. You know, almost exclusively flushes. It's so easy to draw flushes. So with the telescope, now we can really dig for those Jupiter cards. Guaranteed. Here we go, Jupiter or Neptune. Here, since Jupiter is guaranteed, every celestial pack going to give us Jupiter. And also, you know, Jupiter is kind of slowly scaling. You only have plus 15 chips. Even if we get a lot of Jupiter cards, you know, the final boss may require us to play two flushes, whereas one straight flush will definitely win it. I'm actually gonna take the Neptune here. So rather than try to beat the final boss with multiple flushes, I'm going to invest in my ability to play the one mega straight flush. And we'll, because I know, you know, if I want more Jupiter cards, I can always get more Jupiter cards because we have the telescope. All right, that does mean that I'm not able to afford anything else. And so, you know, do I want to get this planet card here to level up my constellation? You know, on top of my, you know, times 2.1 here, that would be another, you know, plus 5% for this $3 here. I'm actually going to save my money. You know, now we've lost all of our money. So let's save our money. All right, let's look for diamonds, it looks like. Uh, we've got hearts here looking for diamonds well if we do it this way we just need the one more heart right so let's go for one more heart there we go we've got the 10 and we've got the rest of these uh, something to think about you know with the hiker upgrading our cards I want to play the cards that I want to keep playing, right? So I want to pick out the ones that I want to plan to use later. And so for this uh, full or this straight flush that I'm trying to do, I want to play this 10 as much as possible. I want to play this nine as much as possible. I want to play this seven as much as possible. Do I want to also play this two as much as possible? You know, with it already being plus 12 chips, it's only going to get bigger than that. And with it being a wild card, it's easier to play it as either hearts or diamonds. I think there the correct thing would have been to play the two of hearts, the wild two of hearts. Um, but, you know, slight misplay there. Not going to matter super much. Hack is not what we're interested in doing. We don't need this plus 15 from Summit. We already got that covered. We could potentially be looking for a gold card. How about, let's go buffoon pack, looking for a replacement for my popcorn. 
looking for Cavendish specifically because we did the banana. Uh, no Cavendish here, but a lot of interesting options. Uh, I think, you know, flush houses we said we're not going to be able to pull off. So this trio is not going to be for us. This polychrome here is 50% uh, instead of this times three being plus 200%. So times 1.5, uh, and then a perfect replacement for my popcorn. Uh, between these, uh, if something has uh, whatever kind of uh, polychrome on it, polychrome also always happens after the Joker effect. And so this abstract Joker will be plus 15 molt first, and then times 1.5 after, and then times this constellation after uh arcana pack looking for maybe another wild card maybe suit changers how do i make my straight flush let's find out um not like this necessarily though maybe the priestess allows us to level up our constellation so now you know this is kind of a tricky situation here Two level ups on my constellation is guaranteed extra X molt there, or chariot is also X molt. Is the X molt from the chariot more than what I would get from the planets, from the priestess? Maybe, you know, here with the straight flush giving me 23 base, we should keep in mind that the steel card, this times 1.5 happens before the droll joker before the fortune teller and so this is not as powerful as maybe the x molt on our constellation is going to be so i think here actually the priestess is more uh, expected value so let's make room by using the pluto card and taking the priestess here um, i do want the gold card uh, it just pays for itself, right? You spend three dollars, you get three dollars, and so let's make room and then go next. Thirty thousand. We already know we we can do that. Um, did we? Man, with these wild cards, it really makes it hard to tell. Did we do it? Did we get there? Uh, no, we got to go one more. Looking for diamonds. Uh, there we go. We got the diamonds. Uh, I'm going to make the hearts into gold. You know, we're kind of split between uh, hearts or diamonds. So maybe hearts are something that I want to hold on to. What I suggested in the past with gold cards, cards that you want to hold on to, put it on a card that you don't ever want to discard. I don't want to put it on the spades because I'm always discarding my spades. Ah, uh, 50,000. Great. Now I know I can beat the boss. By the way, what does the boss do? Costs us money for cards played. Um, annoying, but it's not going to kill us. Okay. Uh, you know, money generator. Uh, oops, all sixes. Maybe has some interaction with our lucky card. Our one, two lucky cards. Shoot the moon. Molt for queens. We got our molt needs covered. So let's celestial pack. We took the telescope, so I know it's going to have a Jupiter. So maybe let's do this. Let's take the priestess, open the celestial pack. Celestial pack has Jupiter, Mars, Uranus. So now when I use the priestess, this will give me two different planet cards. What I'm actually looking for, not Jupiter, I'm looking for Neptune. Yeah, just like that. Uh, wait, Pluto, did I use it or did I sell it? I forgot. I was supposed to use it, right? Because I'm leveling up my constellation. All right, everyone forget about that. Um, I'm going to take the Jupiter to get the upgrade. And then let's take a look at the Arcana pack. Okay, we've got clubs. I'm not interested in doing strength, maybe. Trying to figure out how I'm gonna make that straight flush happen. 
Uh, I don't actually want any of this. So if I don't want any of this, let's go Hierophant. So here, extra chips, gold seal, I want to play. And if I'm going to go diamonds, let's just keep going more diamonds. So how about queen of diamonds? Upgrade those. And we'll go next. All right, uh, those are wild. Show me one more diamonds. There we go. Again, looks kind of weird, but that's a flush. And we've got here, you know, the 10 is giving us 26 chips already. And we can sell this hiker and replace it with something else. So like that 10 on its own is like half as much as a foil card. Um, before I load into the shop, I am going to use the Neptune card because, you know, I don't, if I'm holding onto the Neptune, I can't get more Neptunes and I want to leave the possibility that the shop could have a Neptune card. Uh, it didn't, but you know, we're always going to take that chance. Um, do I want the home voucher here? You know, I'm kind of limited on cash. Do I want the not just standard pack, but it's a mega standard pack. We don't have any value money generating jokers anymore. So I'm being a little bit conservative with my money. You know, we're not able to get interest, but it's still worth saving. So we'll go spectral pack first. We could get more aces or we could get a random suit. In general, random suit, that's gonna make it easier to make flushes, right? What could we lose here? Uh, by the way, this wild card doesn't matter. So what's the worst case scenario? Worst case scenario is I get plus six spades and I lose three diamonds. And so if I look here, minus three diamonds, but then plus six spades, then I wouldn't be able to play my fancy diamonds. I wouldn't be able to play the lucky ones. I wouldn't be able to play the gold seal. So that's the worst case scenario, but maybe I would still be able to play spades. Uh, what about my straight flush possibilities? You know, 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Here would be an extra six and extra eight if we got spades. Or if we hit clubs, that wouldn't be bad. If we hit hearts or diamonds, that wouldn't be bad. I think of the different possibilities, one is bad, two are neutral, or sorry, one is bad, one is neutral, and then two are actively good for us. So I am going to take the sigil here. That is probably among the better possibilities, right? So now we've got, I can go queens and jacks and tens, and maybe with a nine make our straight flush for the final hand. And we've got extra eights too. Ah, perfect. We got all the hearts. All right. Uh, now with the mega standard pack, now I know what cards I'm looking for. Um, though I think I still want to save the money. Do I want the hone voucher is going to give us, you know, better chance of getting foil holographic polychrome jokers. I'm not interested in necessarily in replacing these jokers except for maybe the hiker i could replace with something and so if i'm not going to replace these then i don't really care if they have additions if i'm not going to replace them anyway like if this was foil walkie talkie i wouldn't take it if this was holographic you shoot the moon i wouldn't take it so maybe i don't need this hone i can save my money and uh same thing with this mars card here you know i already have constellation big enough I'm just gonna save my money. Except for Devil. Devil pays for itself. 35,000 I already know that I can do. Um, I'm gonna go for hearts now, it looks like. That's the technology. Hearts we've got, maybe let's try again. Every discard, it hurts. Every discard that's costing us money. Um, all right, between all of these, uh, the ace, I'm going to turn into gold and then play the rest of these like that. This is going to be my straight flush. 
74,000 for that, that is enough to beat the boss is only 70,000. And the boss is all diamonds are debuffed. This also includes uh, wild cards. So, you know, normally, okay, all diamonds are debuffed. That doesn't really matter to us, right? Because the diamonds, they don't really have that many enhancements anyway. Like if this is not lucky, I don't care if this is not a gold card, I don't care. Um, you don't get the bonus chips from the hiker, but you still get all of this. You still get Droll Joker and Fortune Teller and Abstract Joker. So uh, that's fine. Though all of these wild cards, they get debuffed and then can no longer be wild, right? So this is not going to be diamonds anymore. This is not going to be clubs anymore. But that's okay. We have enough hearts because of the sigil from the Spectral Pack that we should be able to do it even with the debuff. All right, what am I looking for now? Fool can give me extra devil for money. Um, let's go, let's try to think about planet cards here. So we will take the, I'd rather have Jupiter than I would have devil. So we'll take Jupiter. Um, I'm gonna open this celestial pack. Uh, because of the telescope, I know it's gonna have Jupiter. I would rather have Neptune. There we go. So between Jupiter and Neptune, uh, we're fine with the flushes for now. Though for the final boss, I'm going to score more with Neptune. Even though I, even though look, even though we've never played a single straight flush this entire game, uh, it's going to be worth it. Trust. And then fool for another Neptune. Uh, go ahead and do that. And then we'll go the Arcana pack. All right, Arcana pack, we could make another Neptune or $20 or two planet cards. And I think between all of those options, I think the Neptune gives us the highest uh, expected value, let's say. So we'll go ahead and do that. Mm, now we're up to, you know, level 10. Now it's not as important. You know, like I said, diminishing returns on your planet cards. Maybe it would have been worth it for the 10 bucks. Go next. I want my banana. I did all this work to get the banana. Give me my dang banana. Uh, we do have the option. Okay, garbage tag. $37 because we've been conservative not using our discards. Most decks... You want to be using your discards in order to play, like I said, fewer hands that are higher quality hands. And so, you know, that's kind of like the main mechanic of the game is using your discards. And for that reason, usually this garbage tag doesn't do anything. Usually you're using your discards. Something that's kind of like weird and different and about the green deck is discards cost money. So I have incentive to not use discards. And so the garbage tag, since I'm incentivized to not use my discards, is going to be on average very good on the green deck compared to the other decks. And I think that's like kind of weird, kind of special about the green deck, not necessarily translatable to other decks. So for $37, that is big enough. That is okay. You've convinced me that's worth it. But that does mean we have to fight the boss. But we do know we have the technology. Um, Three, we have two diamonds in hand, but we have more hearts in the deck. So let's look for our hearts, though I guess it doesn't matter here. We, we have hearts and diamonds. We're holding on to both. E, this is not diamonds, but it does still count as the base is hearts. And so I'm looking for one more hearts. Looking for one more hearts okay there we go we got there with the hearts and these hearts are not even debuffed uh is this seventy thousand? i'm pretty sure this is seventy thousand. yeah just over Ah, uh, right, folks. Now we're in uh, anti eight. Now we're in the end game, right? We've got the last couple of rounds here. Uh, we need to let's do a quick check the blinds. Uh, anti eight is going to be fifty thousand, so the boss is going to be 
you know, double that, the boss is going to be a hundred thousand, but maybe, you know, comes with some kind of drawback, you know, random joker disabled. We have to sell one of our jokers. Um, this would probably be the e easiest. Verdant Leaf would be the easiest. We just demonstrated we don't care about the debuffs on our cards. We don't need the chips from our cards because we got so much chips from uh, just our base hand, flush or straight flush even, a ton of chips. I don't I don't care if my cards are debuffed. Uh, for my straight flush, I can still make a straight flush with just regular hearts. All right, um, which means I don't need any of these jokers. Uh, this seed money voucher since we're on green deck and it has no interest this changing the interest cap This actually doesn't do anything for us uh, Here we can look for Arcana pack maybe more hearts uh, Sun is probably best for us World not so much um, Between random tarot cards versus you know, maybe we get a steel card uh, I think I'm going to go for the steel card, and the card that I want to make steel is this jack. Because it's hearts. Arcana pack again. We can go $16 or the deck manipulation, the card removal. We have uh, spades. Maybe I'll remove some more spades from the deck. So how about uh, 8 and 7? We can go ahead and remove... Um, or some consideration for if I keep these in, I could possibly get the sun card to turn these into, uh, you know, what I need for my straight flush. And maybe there's some incentive to get rid of like two and the king here, get rid of those. Um, since I have the money, I know I only have, uh, you know, three rounds left or two shops left or something like that. We'll start re-rolling now. Uh, Lovers and Hangman, those are both huge, very useful for me. Uh, Supernova here, you know, demonstrating this whole run. We've played only flushes, one flush every round. This Supernova, I can take it now, plus 25 molt and maybe even 28 molt by the time we get to the end. Still less than the fortune teller still less than this droll joker with the help of the holographic you know kind of on average a good plus multi joker is like around plus 20 that's like good enough and so even in this game where we played only flushes supernova is not the thing if you're playing straights if you're playing flushes supernova is not the move but if you're playing let's say pairs or two pair or high card Supernova is super good on high card um, because, you know, with the planets here, high card only goes up plus one for each Pluto card. Supernova gives you something that high card is normally missing. So it kind of unlocks the high card build. But otherwise, you know, don't get too crazy about this. You know, this infinitely scaling when you play your poker hand. We'll take the hangman. We'll make room for lovers and then go next uh do i want to skip for a spectral pack there are there could be some things that are interesting to me there could be some things that are excited to me i do need to think about uh for the crimson heart is going to disable a random joker am i going to be able to survive this so for example if i don't have the fortune teller am i going to be able to do it uh, if I don't have the Droll Joker, am I going to be able to do it? If I don't have the times three, um, I think minus any of these, as long as we play our straight flush, we will be fine. 100,000, no problem. So we'll just go ahead and play it out. Uh, Hangman getting rid of these black cards, discarding, looking for more uh, diamonds. Or sorry, more hearts. Um, I have, for my wild cards, I have the 10 wild, the 9 wild, 7 wild, uh, 2 wild. Maybe I'm looking for an, a wild 8, a wild 6, or a wild jack. So I could go wild jack here with the lovers before I generate this tarot card. Or I'll just wait until I get my 8. Let's look for an 8. 
That's not an eight. Uh, Hermit for 20 bucks. Uh, we didn't get there on the eight. Do I want to use the lovers now or do I want to save it for the final boss? Save it for if I actually need it, save it for emergencies. I think since we only have two rounds left, I think it's better to save it. So we're going to save it. And I will play this Jack and maybe this 10 or maybe this six. We'll just play these. All right, that flush was 100,000. I can get 100,000 points with a flush. I don't need to go crazy with this full or a straight flush technology. Though I'm going to go for it anyway because I think we can do it. Um, I think it is safe to do it. Um, so, you know, let's go crazy here. Uh, do I need any of this? Uh, for example, card sharp. If one flush is 100,000 points, then the second flush is going to be worth 300,000 points, you know, 400,000 points total. If this, you know, instead of being, uh, you know, on the white stake, the lowest difficulty, instead of being 100,000, if this were the higher difficulties with the higher anti-scaling, if this were, you know, 300,000 here or 400,000 here, we would still have enough points to win. So that's kind of nice to note there. Um, but, you know, for us here, we don't need this. We're going to try to win in one instead of using two hands. Arcana pack. Do I want to death? Do I want to make diamonds? Uh, I think what I do want to do, I want to make an extra 10 here, the wild 10. And it's gold. You know, there's not a lot of time left for us to get value from the gold seal, but it being wild is important for us to have, for us to make our straight flush that I'm trying to do. And also this kind of sets us up for if you wanted to do this continuing to endless mode. Now set us up for having straight flushes. Let's go Jupiter first and then Neptune second, you know, in case a fool shows up in the shop. We've got two shops left, this one and the next one. And so I want to spend my money before the final boss. So we'll go, oh wait, let me check for, uh, here's an unlock. Let's do it. Let's get rid of the hiker for the unlock. We'll reroll, uh, reroll again. Okay, we've got Saturn, Earth here. We've got the bean. The bean, if you're trying to make a straight flush, this will guarantee it guaranteed straight flush with the plus five hand size. Now I don't need as much scoring help. I don't need all these scoring jokers because I have the uh, straight flush and the times three that is going to be enough. Um, and now since I have the extra money, we weren't buying the planet cards before, but now that it's at the end, I will be leveling up my constellation. So I'll use one of these. I'll buy, but then hold on to it so that it blocks duplication. Reroll one more time. Um, if I want to go, you know, really crazy here, we could go ramen times two. Okay, now I don't need this anymore. I don't need the uh, abstract joker. And I'm gonna save the rest of my money for rerolling in the next one. All right, let's go here. We've got 10, Jack, Queen. Uh, maybe I'm looking for, I mean, a flush will do it, right? We could just play the flush, but let's experiment a little bit. Let's see what our straight flush would look like. So here, if I want to make a straight flush, Let's discard all of these, and maybe I don't need the seven since I got a wild one. We got a wild one. Oh yeah, it makes my ramen smaller. Eh, well. All right, we got queen, jack, 10, wild, nine, and then, a, ooh, that's the wrong eight. All right, let's discard again. Sorry, ramen, 
Sorry, not sorry. Uh, this is a combo, by the way. Turtle bean plus ramen. Extra hand size. You don't have to discard. So if you just commit to, I'm just never going to discard, ramen is always times two. It never gets smaller. You just play your hands. Uh, let's see here. Do get rid of the 10, get rid of the queen, uh, the diamonds. Wait a second. Diamonds, wait, wait, wait. Seven, eight, nine. You know, these are all wild. We made them wild on purpose, the 10 and the 9 and the 7. Um, and so I'm just one away. I need a 6. Okay, I'm going to discard these definitely. Uh, the extra queens I don't need, the extra 10s I don't need. Definitely I'm going to throw away these. Uh, did we do it? <laughs> I don't think we got it. Uh, king. Seven. No, we didn't get it. Five, four, six. One more. Now did we get it? Still didn't get it. Seven, nine. 10, still didn't get it. What the heck is happening here? We're looking for the eight of hearts. Okay, we've got two eight of hearts. That's why. Uh, we're looking for the king of hearts. We've got one king of hearts. Though we do have the one uh, king of clubs. So we've got four cards that we're looking for. Okay, it makes sense that we didn't get it. Whatever. Let's, uh, you know, we can play the 10 here. We could play the eight here. Uh, I guess we don't get both. Let's play. Wait, seven is wild, right? So nine, ten. No, we really just need the eight of hearts. Fine, be that way. Or we can do the lovers here. Uh, I want to save the lovers for the final boss just in case. So let's just do this. We'll dig. And if we need to in an emergency, wait a second. We got an eight of spades. Does that work? Nine, seven, ten. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm going crazy here. I've been doing this too long today. Uh, I don't need the nine because I have a wild one. So maybe discard something like this, maybe keep the eight and discard something like this. There we go. Okay, eight, seven, nine, ten, and the jack. There's our straight flush. You know, let's even use the wheel. And we have the steel queen of hearts. All right, there we go. You know, 480,000, 500,000, that's enough to beat definitely this boss. And on higher stakes, it would also work. You know, even with just these two jokers here, demonstrating the planet scaling power of the straight flush. And you know, that's why, you know, when we had the couple options uh, for either flush or straight flush, either Jupiter or Neptune planet cards, I said, okay, well, even though we played mostly flushes up to this point, we're going to pivot into straight flushes later. Because flushes on their own, you know, only 100,000 points. Straight flushes, five times as many points. Um, I do, you know, if this is gonna disable a random joker, I don't want it to, you know, maybe di uh, disable these x mult jokers. And so maybe what I want to do is uh, pick up some other just random garbage jokers, right? So. Uh, we can pick up, for example, we can pick up this egg here. We can pick up this zany joker here. We can pick up uh, ice cream here just so we have some extras floating around. Uh, in my standard packs, I'm just going to open them because I have the money. I'm not necessarily looking for anything in particular. Uh, you know, maybe another eight of hearts since it was so hard to get the dang eight. I mean, that's what we have the lowest for, for an emergency. Um, let's go re-roll Nothing here particularly spicy uh, We've got the mercury if we want to level up our constellation 
uh, maybe re-roll one more time. Sock and buskin. This hanged man we can actually use for value. And I'm gonna demonstrate that. So let's go into the final boss here. Let's go into the Crimson Heart. Egg is disabled. Okay, no problem, boss. Uh, with the hanged man, let's do this. I have seven, 10 jack. So nine, eight in the middle here. Nine, eight is gonna make my straight flush or you know, maybe without these seven, five here, I'm going to throw away the diamonds and the spades. And here's the 10 of diamonds. I'm going to throw all those away. Uh, the aces I don't necessarily need. I have an extra seven that I don't necessarily need. So I'm going to show you this. If I take these two and I use the hangman, and then I select the fives and the extra seven and the 10, and the extra ace that I'm gonna discard. I'm discarding five, but I'm drawing seven. And so using the hangman gives me an extra draw two. All right, so now we've got, okay, jack, 10, queen if I would need it, nine, I just need either the king or the eight would be best. So let's discard here the nines, uh, four, three, uh, I don't need the extra jack necessarily, but let's discard the ace here. Uh, looking for king or any eight. Uh, so we did get the king, so we do have the straight flush. We can go ahead and fire that off. Though, you know, since we're here at the end, you know, I, I want to see the big number. I want to see the big number. You want to see the big number. Let's look for our eight, and then that way we get to keep the steel cards. So if I'm looking for the eight, let's go discarding all of these. There we go, this eight, I can easily make that into a wild card. I can go, uh, here's seven, eight, nine, ten, jack. That's gonna be a straight flush. We can get rid of all of this stuff here. So, you know, with that constellation up to times three, times 3.5 or whatever it was, here even without that, here's my straight flush. 73,000 points, not quite 100,000. Uh, if we wanted to win, we would need to have a little bit more than that. Um, let's see here, we've got Jack, queen, king, if I wanted to do another straight flush, I still have the 10 of hearts in the deck. Um, I don't have any more nines, except for I have the uh, clubs here, nine of clubs. So let's do that. Let's go here, uh, king. Um, I could play a flush here, right? So our straight flush is, that was the 73,000 points. Uh, a flush here is maybe one sixth as much, right? Cause it's one third the chips, it's one half the molt. So one sixth as much is not going to give us the 100,000 here. So I know if I play this flush, uh, it will kill us. Um, also, you know, here with that flush, I'm not getting the steel card value. So that flush is not going to win it for us. If I want to win, I 100% need the hearts um, or not necessarily hearts but i need the straight flush in order to win so let's go for that straight flush um, the nine of clubs and also the what was it here's wait is that what we need ah ten of hearts nine of clubs that's what it is ten of hearts nine of clubs those are the wild cards. All right, here we've got looking for that wild 10 and also wild nine. Uh, we've got king, queen, jack. We're out of clubs. So let's keep digging for queen, queen, Actually, we can't dig anymore, right? 
unfortunate. All right, so just like that, we were unable to get the win on the green deck. Um, hopefully, you will have better luck in your runs. Uh, we will try again. Um, probably, you know, like I said with this series in the first video, um, I'm not going to show every run that we do. Um, I'm just going to show sort of enough to sort of tutorialize, demonstrate the things that I plan on demonstrating. And so we'll get the win. You're probably not going to be able to see it, but uh, we'll get the win. Don't worry. All right. Take care, everyone.